Data Center Financial Model with a 10-year DCF and valuation provides an in-depth financial analysis of a data center business. It includes detailed projections for revenue streams, operational expenses, and capital investment. This model helps assess long-term profitability, investment feasibility, and business scalability. Additionally, it produces pro forma financial statements, net present value, NPV, internal rate of return, IRR, and payback period to support decision-making and strategic planning. Key components. 1. Revenue streams. Income from co-location services, cloud hosting, managed services, and other streams. 2. Operating expenses. Costs related to energy, equipment lease, maintenance, and personnel. 3. Capital expenditures. CapEx. Investments in infrastructure, hardware, networking, and facility expansion. 4. 10-year DCF and valuation. Long-term financial projections, including NPV and IRR calculations. 5. Pro forma. Financial statements. Includes income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow projections. 6. Payback. Period. Calculation of the time required to recover the initial investment, as well as break-even analysis. Key benefits. 1. Investment viability. Evaluates profitability, scalability, and return potential for the data center. 2. Strategic planning. Helps optimize pricing models, expansion strategies, and cost management. 3. Informed decision-making. Supports funding, operational efficiency, and market positioning with financial insights. Fourth, investor appeal, a comprehensive financial model to attract investors and secure financing. Model guidelines. Inputs are always depicted with a yellow fill and blue letters. Call-ups, that is direct links from other cells, are filled in light blue with blue letters while calculations are depicted with white fill and black characters. There is also color coding for the various tabs of the model. Yellow tabs are mostly assumptions tabs. Gray tabs are calculations tabs. Blue tabs are outputs tabs, that is effectively results or graphs. And finally, light blue tabs are admin tabs, for example, the cover page, contents, and checks. Moving on to the inputs. Detailed inputs for revenues, such collocation revenue, managed cloud services revenue, connectivity services revenues, additional services revenues, and costs splits between direct costs, direct labor costs, and other direct costs, and indirect costs, such as admin staff, outsourced staff, insurance, advertising and promotions, as well as other costs. Work in capital, receivables, payables and inventory, fixed assets and capex, split into startup investment and new maintenance capex, debt and equity financing, as well as valuation assumptions, such as discount rates used in the weighted average cost of capital. In the summary tab, you can see a high-level report with the main metrics and value drivers of the model. It can be readily printed on one page for your convenience. Calculations. This is where all calculations are performed. The revenues are calculated based on the various revenue streams and by deducting the operating costs adjusted for inflation, the operating profit is resulting. Based on the assets financed and the gearing of the financing, the interest and depreciation are occurring. By using the working capital assumptions, the impact of the business cycle is presented. Finally, depending on the level of the investment, considered the relevant debt financing is calculated. Long-term debt and overdraft. In the Outputs tab, everything is aggregated here into the relevant statements. Profit and loss, balance sheet and cash flow. Moving to the Valuation tab, a valuation is performed by using the free cash flows to the firm, and then a series of investment metrics are presented. Net, present value. 
Internal Rate of Return, Profitability Index, Payback Period, Discounted Payback Period, Sensitivity Analysis. In the Graphs tab, various graphs present the business metrics, revenues, operating costs, and profitability. Then multiple charts present the working capital, debt, and equity, along with cash, assets, and cash flows, which results in a valuation on a project basis, as well as on an equity basis, together with the feasibility metrics. In the break-even tab, you can find a break-even analysis and see how many sales you need to break even. Checks. A dedicated worksheet that makes sure that everything is working as it should.